Current temperature in Sedona, it's sitting at 37 degrees. And boy, we have winter storm warnings covering a good chunk of the, the muggy on rim here uh, for tonight into tomorrow morning. There's some of that rainfall falling here in the valley, and uh, we're continuing to see some showers uh, fall across. It started in the West Valley. Now this storm is moving off towards the east, and there's all that snow. And you can see right there in Sedona, as Jared mentioned, it's just changing over to uh, a little rain snow mixture out there. But uh, boy, once the colder temperatures hit us, it's going to be all snow later on this evening. There's a good batch of rain, and as you can see, the direction of these storms, that's pushing off towards the east, so we're going to see some shower activity. Here's a live look. How about this from Flagstaff? Look at all that snowfall and temperatures. Yeah, sitting at 62 here, 50s up in Carefree, mid-50s out in Goodyear, an official high today, 10 degrees below average. And boy, it's going to be a chilly start to our morning tomorrow morning. There's the storm. You can see the counterclockwise rotation as that storm pushes in. How much snow have we received so far? Well, let's check in with Royal Norman. He's got some impressive snowfall totals so far. Royal? Yeah, pretty crazy out there, Paul. You're right. Snowball with 10 inches of snow. Uh, desert view at the Grand Canyon. That's the eastern edge of the Grand Canyon as a drive in from the south. Uh, nine inches of snow. Flagstaff's had six to nine, though we're hearing some additional accumulations now. Kachina Village and Fort Valley, seven inches of snow. Munns Park had five inches of snow. Again, these are as a couple of hours ago. Doney Park in the Flagstaff area for a uh, snow gauge north of Pace in about 10 miles, got three inches of snow. Prescott and Yarnell with a couple of inches of snow. More on the way in Chino Valley and Cherry with an inch of snow as well. All right, so here's our sort of fantasy forecast, if you will. Uh, these are the peaks of some of the mountains surrounding Metro Phoenix. And yes, there is going to be some colder air on the tail end of this storm system. So yes, we could see a little bit of snow on some of our mountain tops. April made this graphic earlier today. We're going to check off the superstitions. We're going to check off the white tanks and we're going to check off the McDowell's as probable areas where we will see some snow on the top of some mountains tomorrow morning, Paul. And Folks in the North Valley and around town, as you've been talking about, might even see a few flurries as well. But don't bet on it. Just enjoy the moment. Yeah, and it's going to get chilly tomorrow Very chilly, morning. Yeah. Bundle up, folks. There's the culprit of all that snow and valley rain. That's trekking towards the east. Hey, behind it, we're actually going to see uh, an improving forecast, some calmer conditions over the weekend. But temperature-wise, we're actually going to stay below average through Sunday. And then we're watching another developing low out west of us. We'll keep a track on that. Let's time this out. There's 630. It looks like uh, this model here indicating some pockets of the heaviest rain and mountain snowfall will happen again right around 630. And then still some lingering showers at around 7 a.m. And as we mentioned, tomorrow morning, we're going to see those temperatures drop into the 30s. Could see some snow on the valley peaks. So that could be uh, very interesting tomorrow morning. High tomorrow, just 55 degrees. Bundle up, we'll see a low of 39. And then just 62 on Friday. Improving forecast, and I'm loving this Saturday to Sunday. Temps in the 70s. Oh boy, that's spring training weather right there. 74 on Sunday, and then a few clouds Monday into Tuesday. Busy, busy day. Back oh to you. yeah. All right, looking good, Paul. Thanks for that.